we're ready for eyebrows. We have different types of eyebrow stencils that you can use. We have more round shapes, if you like those. We also have more square shapes. And we know with the aging process that women naturally start to lose their hair. So we even have little hairs that you can spray on and then you'll get that illusion. It's great. We also have the three in one with the eyebrow stencil in the Personal Pro. I'm actually going to use this stencil from the Personal Pro. I like more of a square shape. And I also have thicker eyebrows. So the color that I'm going to use is the light smoke. This also comes in the medium kit. So like always, wrap the hose around your arm, hold the airbrush like a pencil, and we're gonna put this around 10 to 12 o'clock on your compressor airflow. I'm gonna shake my light smoke, flip the lid, and I'm just gonna do two drops. One, two, done. Here's my eyebrow stencil. There's two ways that you can do this. If you want more of a harsh line, go ahead and place the stencil on top of the skin so it touches. If you want a more soft line, you just hover it. Also, when you do your eyebrows, you only want to do half at a time. I'll show you. <laughs> so I like a harsh line, so I'm going to put it actually on my skin, and I'm going to only spray to my arch. So I'm going to go rock my lever. And spray halfway. Once I spray to the arch, I lift up the stencil and readjust the tip. And then spray it in. And then my eyebrow is full. Now when I do the other side, I wanna make sure that I wipe off the stencil because I don't want that makeup to get on the other side. Flipped my stencil over. Line up. Spray halfway. Readjust. You want to be about one to three inches when you do your eyebrows as well. Now the reason why we only spray half at a time is because everyone has different eyebrows and no stencil is going to fit someone perfectly. So you want to make sure it fits you. Line it up. Spray halfway, spray the little tip. There you go, all done. And sometimes if I spray my eyebrows and I feel like it's a little too dark, no problem. All I do is I take a dry Q-tip and I just roll it over to soften it up a little bit. This is also good if you put the stencil on wrong, like right here, it's a little too high, I can just roll this Q-tip and soften that edge so I don't have to redo it. Yay. And then I'm all done.